I'm uh, Dave, I'm the owner of Indie Inc. Screen Printing and Apparel. Uh, we've been here in this location on Broadway for seven years now. Um, we do screen printing, so if you have a band or a restaurant, whatever, we can print your t-shirts. Then we also have a retail space where we print a lot of our own designs and we bring in designs from local artists around Denver. Um, and then we also have a, a gallery space. And that's what we're doing here tonight. We've got Dave DeVries from uh, New Jersey. He's got the Monster Engine show. Um, the concept of the show is he takes a little kid's drawing and then does his rendition of that same drawing. Um, the reason we picked him for this show, we've just all kind of admired and followed his work for a while. And we contacted him and, and he was down to do a show, so. Somebody showed me Dave DeVries' website, and I was like, wow, this is a really amazing concept. Um, he's definitely, you know, like re-channeling this really amazing creative energy into something that's very, very fine art oriented. Well, I just inspired my piece because I, I just love the way he, he uses the proportions and forms of children and these ideas. Um, that you develop as a child to sort of move forward. And I, I love the way his characters sort of, they relate to what, what children do. I really kind of jumped at the opportunity to do this. My nephew's a really great artist. I've seen his pieces in some kind of school shows and uh, love, love the creativity that he displays. And uh, when I found out uh, Indie Inc. was gonna do this show and that kids were gonna be involved, I just jumped at the chance. Um, had my nephew Evan, draw a piece up for me and uh, he handed it to me and I was a little concerned because it's pretty complicated. Uh, he's a pretty good artist so I was a little concerned like what am I going to do to add to this and uh, luckily I was able to kind of take his vision and uh, I think put, put my eyes behind it and adapt it pretty well. It's actually one of the hardest things I've ever painted because I usually draw my art to paint my style. So to try to paint my son's work, my style, like was one of the hardest things I've ever done. So it was just like really difficult to approach it. I didn't know how to approach it. I had no like, you know, I set myself up. I set the approach up on my own art, but to, to paint in someone else's style. It's a very simple idea, but sometimes the best ideas are really simple ideas. And the way that Dave, you know, pulls those ideas from the kids' minds and realistically paints them in a beautiful way, um, I think it's awesome. And I love how they have some creepiness to them and, and some real depth to them. Um, but the project itself, uh, the book, all of it involved with it, I think is a, is a great project and uh, something that I loved being a part of, even though I didn't get to interpret yet. Um, but just working with kids um, and really being able to see how free they are uh, as artists um, is a beautiful thing. So. And uh, the inspiration for this piece was just based off of a bunny drawing that she did. And it's super simple and just like really, really cute and perfect. So it wasn't hard to choose a, a good drawing to work from. I just tried to put my own style on it, lots of doodles and smudges and marks and stuff. And uh, it turned out good though, you know? It's fun to like draw all the time and paint all the time for myself to do something different and have it, you know, incorporate my daughter into it. This wasn't something new. I, I would say my kids inspire a lot of the artwork that I do. Um, it's just really fun to kind of watch them get into it and explain the work and what they're doing. And just even the simple shapes, like the, the simple stylized interpretation of the things that they see always is, inspires me. Really intrigued by his artwork and just his use of children's paintings to, uh, to actually rendering them in a way where it's just completely adult. And I, think, I thought that was really cool on his part. 
And I kind of took a little bit of the Dave DeVries approach that he's done with the Monster Engine, you know, building building something off of that. But I, I made it a little different where I kind of went a little more on the uh, fantastical side on what I created. So it was neat to see someone else's take on that same concept of taking a kid's drawing and rendering it. Um, and I'm thrilled to be part of it. There's not a stinker in the hole on any of these walls. It's great. Chris uh, Huth did a great job curating the show. I'm Adam Reeker. I'm here at uh, Indie Inc. in Denver, and you're watching Denver After Nine. This is Chris Hoop. I'm at uh, Indie Inc. for the Monster Engine Show, uh, and you're watching Denver After Nine. Uh, this is Zez at Indie Inc. for the Monster Engine Show, and you're watching Denver After Nine. I'm Dave, the owner of Indie Inc. Uh, you're here at the Monster Engine Show for the first Friday event, and you're watching Denver After Nine. <laughs> 